Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I had a request to talk about this little guy here. This is Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And um, one of the things I wanted to do while I'm doing that is I also wanted to show you a dupe I found. You've seen this little guy on um, I think Tati and a few other people have talked about it. Let me see if you can we can zoom in here. It is Voluminous Lash Paradise. And it is, I think L'Oreal did an amazing job. Even down to, it almost looks like the same kind of color packaging. This is the Better Than Sex wand. I'm going to show you down and dirty now. And this is the Lash Paradise Wand. Can you tell the difference? Not really. There's not much difference at all. So, that said, I'm going to put one on one side and one on the other, and let's see if there's any difference. So... Three, four, kind of do it that way, five, six swipes. Just gonna run it on my bottom lash here a little bit. I'm trying to be fair. Three, four, five, one more on the top. So seven top, five on the bottom. Now I'm going to come over here with this one. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and run that on the bottom. Oh, I didn't, I didn't run across the top real quick here. And seven. Miss that one little spot right there. Okay. So now, I know which is which. Do you? I think they both look beautiful. Granted, this one's been sitting for a second, and I did not curl my lashes, so my lashes do fall quickly. I don't see any difference, guys. I don't see a $20 difference, do you? I, be I believe. I'm not sure. I think it's better than sex is like $22, I think, and the Lash Paradise is $8. This side is Too Faced Better Than Sex, and this side is the Lash Paradise. I don't see a difference. I really don't. They are great mascaras. Don't get me wrong. Okay, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to put a little swipe on my hand at each, and we're going to compare them that way so we can see the darkness. There may be a little clumps because these are not fresh, brand new, um, both of them. Have you been used maybe two or three times? I haven't used these two products very much. Wow. Okay. And all fairly. These are the two next to each other. They look a lot alike. The one on the bottom does look a little more opaque, but if I kind of run my finger through it, this way I'm using two separate fingers, as we can tell. I will tell you, um, the bottom one is Too Faced Better Than Sex, and the top one is the uh, L'Oreal um, ah, Lash Paradise. I will say that the, um, the Too Faced Better than sex dries a lot faster. Where the um, the lash paradise is taking a little bit longer to dry. I'm trying to get it to dry down because it's it's appearing that it's gonna dry down just as mad. It's just gonna not be as opaque as the better than sex. But as far as on the eye, I don't see really that much difference. That's the two of those. I'm going to go ahead and clean that off. 
I'm going to be covered in mascara today because I'll, I'll totally forget and go somewhere and be somebody you'd like. What is that on your hand? I will tell you. This is after cleaning them both with um, the, uh, I use the Equate brand makeup removers. This is using it. The, um, the L'Oreal. It hung in there a little, a little bit there. I think it may have a little better staying power as far as that. Usually, you know, when you go to clean it off, you're going to see, I'm still wiping. There it goes. There it goes. But I will tell you, I don't see, financially wise, I don't see that much of a difference. Now, if you guys like that, I got another dupe for you. Because everybody's been talking about that dupe. So, I wanted to do something a little different on my channel. I found you another dupe. And that is, if I can find it. Okay. The, um... The other dupe I found was right here, and that is the Katie Cat Mascara. I don't know if any of you guys have tried some of these colored mascaras. I don't have the MAC one with me. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I'm out of it. MAC came out with a blue mascara. I've got mascara on, so I'm not going to show you on the eyes. But this is the Katie Cat mascara you can tell i use this a lot it's a little comfy <laughs> but it's very opaque you get a nice opaque color it is beautiful on the eyes if you use any of the mac or i forget some of the other brands that come out with the colored ones i love 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 colored mascaras especially if I can find a purple mascara because I don't know if you notice I have purple on my eyes today this is um this is a Lancome color it is beautiful I just got a hold of this matter of fact last night I got this from Lancome it is the Ellie Stylo waterproof and this is the color amethyst these are great, 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 great things here, right here. So, right along, let's go on to some other mascaras, okay? Now, one of the neat ones that I've, uh, I've done a review on this before, and I just wanted to kind of show you this again. This is the, um, the MAC Bold and Lash. The neat little thing about this is you open it up, you've got your regular mascara to do your eyes. Then, you know those pesky little right in here? Actually, I can show you because this is black. This comes out, and you've got the little baby one. So you can get down here if you want to get in here and get these little lashes here. Or if you want to get up in here and get these ones you just, just can't get a hold of. And look at You can just pull right up in there. Look at that. Isn't that is that not the neatest thing? I thought it was very cute. Some of the other mascaras right now that are really big. I'm liking this. Now, see, a lot of them don't really show you the wand. They don't tell you about it. Now, the Better Than Sex, that's more of a fluffy wand. It's going to give you more of a natural kind of um, look. It's just going to help you darken the lashes and kind of pull them out a little bit. Now, if you want more of that spider, spider leg kind of... Um, long lashes you want them to stay up i like mine to stay up i like the um roller lash by benefit and if you want a one that's if you want a mascara that's gonna help you really get more oomph out of your lashes as far as length and you want a little more division in them i would go with something like this it's gonna be very tight on the um there you go very tight in there. Now you see the top is a little longer and the bottoms are a little shorter. It's a very spiky. It's hard for me to kind of show you, but my lashes. Let me see if I can kind of. It's hard to 
get in there. But now you see, yes, it's going to be a little clumpy because I already had a mascara on. But you see how that, see what that did? That's what this type of wand is going to do for you. Now also, the, um, the new Urban Decay Troublemaker is very similar as far as their wand. Theirs is a little wider, but it's still very tight and very, very sharp. And what that does is it helps you get right down to those roots and lift them up. It's going to give you more of, as you see, more of the spider, the spidery looking lashes, where a fluffier wand is going to give you more of a natural lash. Boy, my, my lashes are crooked as hell over here. <laughs> But that happens when you put more mascara on when yours are dry. Okay, one of my favorite, actually I'll show you two of my favorites. The, um, oh, I don't even know what I did with it now. <laughs> yeah, here it is. This is one of my favorite, as far as for a natural day, these are two of my favorites here, right? Um, this is the Lancome, oh God, I can't even read it, um. I'll hold it up. You can, I don't know how to pronounce it. There we go. Definitions. Definitions. I don't know. I'm not French, so. But that has more of this fluffy, this fluffy wand. The only thing with theirs, if you notice, it's got more of an ashy kind of color to it. Kind of reminds me of almost like a dark, like a charcoal gray. But this is kind of tight on the uh, tight on there, but it's got those fluffy, more of a brush where the other ones had the little spiky, hard things. This guy right here, this is Urban Decay, which I always tend to, to gravitate towards Urban Decay for eye products. I don't know why, but this is the Perversions, bigger, blacker, and better. This is like the best brush right here. If you want nice, fluffy, nice, fluffy, pretty, natural, more natural looking lashes. See how it just kind of brushes through them? I'm going to wind up with 10 different kinds of mascara on here to show you guys. I need like 10 eyes so I can show you. This is one of my favorites though. But it really just, it goes, it depends on what, um, what you're looking for in a mascara is really, you know, what type of brush you want to get. I like to find a product that is a lighter product. It's not going to be very heavy on the lashes because my lashes do not like to stay up. Um, here's another one also. Here's Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte. This is more... Whoa, that was kind of dried out. This is more of a, almost like an in-between, if you see. Let me see if I can focus. There we go. It is a brush, but it's kind of, it's got the, I don't even know how to explain it. It's, it's a brush, but it's more of kind of a spiky kind of brush. Where this one gives you that same, still, it gives you a nice full lash, but it's still more on the natural side where it doesn't have so much separation. When I say more on the natural side, what I'm talking about is keeping the lashes together and fluffy looking compared to more separation and spiky looking. It just really depends on what your personal preference is. Now, um, one thing I have found with the Better Than Sex mascara, um, I started using this for a while and it's it's not waterproof they have another one that's waterproof that comes in a, a um, teal kind of container it's kind of a bluish green container and that one is waterproof I have not tried that one yet but um really it's all about what you like and what you're looking for for in a product you know you don't have to go and spend a fortune on something i will tell you that um sephora if you join their the little rewards club um you can earn points and most of the time they have these which are the little the little mini uh, actually better than sex this is actually the purple one that came 
in the um, Power of Makeup set that was done with Nikki Tutorials. I never understood. I love this mascara, but when it first got here, even when I first got it, it was, it was like this. It was very dry and just, you can't really see it there. Look at that. That's how it came brand new. I was not happy with this. And, and the sad thing is it was a limited edition thing. I wish they would put it back out again because I absolutely love, love, love colored mascaras. And they have been getting back in the style. But if you like colored mascara and you, you know, you don't really see a color that you like, but you would like to try a colored mascara, one thing you can do, and I've done this several, several times, is I use colored eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, and I will do my lashes with that. And I bought this little, hang on one second, I'm trying to find this little tool here. Great, it disappeared. I bought a little, um, it's almost like a rake for your lashes. Oh, I can't find it. Or you, you know, you can buy these spoolies because even when you're, after your lashes are dry, if you don't like, if you don't like the look of it after it dries, you can take a spoolie and just kind of run through. I bend them like this because you can grab your lashes like this and you want to rotate. And you just kind of loosen them back up. Loosen them back up. Because I don't like the I don't like them to be too clumpy, but I don't like them to be too, you know, too spiky or too fluffy. So actually I'm trying to get them kind of alike right now, but you can kind of loosen them up. Whatever you do, it, be careful what you put by your eyes. If it's not made to go near your eye, don't use that. Um Christine from uh Simply Now Logical and Simply <sighs> Simply Now Logical. She uh took a safety pin and was taking it and separating her lashes with it. Don't do that. That's not safe. I wish I could find this thing. It's a, just a little rake. I got it from from uh, Ulta and. I'm over here banging away. I got it from Ulta. It's just a cute little, it looks like a little rake. Literally, it looks like a little rake and you just kind of run it through your lashes. Um, the other thing you can get, there is a, um, a fan, it's a fan brush, but it's like, it's like that big. It's a little baby fan brush. And you may see a lot of makeup artists. A lot of makeup artists love to do those. And they come out really... I love the way they come out. They come out really neat when you use the fan. That little tiny fan brush to do the lashes. Um, you can really get in there and really separate the lashes how you want. And make sure to get product on each one of the lash even. But, uh... Sorry, guys. I'm, like, I'm over here plundering. <laughs> I'm, like, dying to find that thing now. I want to show it to you. But I guess... I don't think it's going to pop up anytime soon. I have so many brushes and stuff. But Morphe has that um, that little fan brush. It is a mascara fan brush, I believe is what it's called. Or an eyelash fan brush. I'm not positive on the exact name. But I hope you enjoyed this video. This video was specially done for the girl that was asking me about, I don't like to mention people's names because some people get a little shy, but somebody had asked me to do a review about Better Than Sex mascara. Um, also, what I'm going to start doing as the channel is getting bigger, as the channel gets, gets a little bit bigger here, I will announce it very soon. But when I review a product after that review, I will be giving away one of that product to one of my users that are watching. I really want to make sure this channel is different and I really want to give back to the community, to you guys. I do this more for fun than anything else and I want to make it fun for everyone else. And also, you know, it's very sad for me to hear, you know, oh, I couldn't try that because I couldn't afford it, um, you know, or whatnot. So I really want to start giving back to everybody. So with that said, have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and definitely please give me a like. Talk to you soon. Bye.